It really bothers me. I mean, she should feel safe there. Samantha Braden says her 13-year-old daughter was shoved into a wall earlier this month at Silver Sands Middle School in Port Orange. Pushed so hard, Braden says the seventh grader was treated at the hospital for a concussion. One of the two girls identified as being involved in the assault was charged with battery. But Braden says it wasn't the first time her daughter was bullied and believes the school and the school district need tougher anti-bullying policies in place. I think that it's a problem that is deeper than the children. I think it's a problem that deals with uh, the school system itself. And a school district spokesman told us by email, we can assure you students involved have received disciplinary measures. Both school and district administration are involved along with law enforcement. Bullying will not be tolerated in Volusia County schools. But Braden believes it has been tolerated. After starting this Facebook group, Braden says she's heard from dozens of parents sharing bullying stories at Silver Sands Middle and beyond. Braden thinks students identified as being involved in incidents like that should be referred for counseling in addition to being disciplined. Go talk to somebody about this. Go have somebody that you can you can let out your aggressions to properly. We're not showing Braden's daughter's face, but she did want to speak out. Grateful her mom's taking action because she doesn't think school leaders are doing enough. Like they just send them home for a suspension and say, oh, don't do it again. But like that doesn't even do anything. It doesn't stop it. Ms. Braden and other parents are meeting this week to talk anti-bullying strategy, something they then plan to take to the school district in hopes of promoting change. In Volusia County, Claire Matz, WESH 2 News.